Are we good? Mm-hmm. All right. Welcome back to Twilight Gaming Therapy. Apologies if there's a little bit of um, hiccups along the way. We're still figuring things out as far as uh, streaming on the Switch. Well, I am. Um, but we're picking up Pokemon Arceus this rainy Wednesday, September the 28th, 2022. How is everybody this fine, wet day? All right. Yeah, we know. We know, Pokemans. See what Pokemon Jesus has to say. Beyond time and space. Yet he knows English. Arceus knows English. Convenient. Very convenient. Oh, I have Mr. Dick Rickles with me today. So, you want to say hello? Hello. Hey. I'm gonna go with this one because this is the closest that we're gonna get. Let's see. I should think I did stone or dinky. Uh, stone sounds good. I like doing this. Yeah, let's stick with that. Thanks, man. Oh, thank you. There we go. So yeah, that looks good. That's acceptable. So, like I said, I apologize if the audio is a little bit here and there. It's um, different setup with microphones. I'm not really used to using one hand to hold the microphone and using the controller with the other. All right, we got to catch him most. How does the setup look? The it looks fine with the icon. I'm just trying to figure out. What it's doing. Well. Oh, there's the chat on screen. Yes, this is Pokemon Arceus. I started a new file for the stream just because it's, uh... I didn't really want to reset my file that I have so far. I don't think I beat the game, but it's pretty close to it. It's a fun game. If you like the Pokemon series, it's definitely a good, um, addition. And plus, Pokemon Arceus is kind of a different flavor from all the other Pokemon games, just on the sheer basis of it's much more open world. It's like Sydney locked world, I think, is the proper... Wake up! Is the proper term. <laughs> Wake up! Yeah, I'm alive. I'm just trying to take a nap. In the sand. I can't remember what this professor is called. Rowan? Because or... I know they're all tree names. I don't know. Uh, we've only seen it on the Switch so far. Yeah, I believe it's just Nintendo Switch. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all on uh, 
Pokemon Arceus is on the Switch. <laughs> I'll survive somehow. Probably. Like, I mean, you have a 50-50 chance of being mauled to death by Pokemon in this world as you do being eaten. Flash. Let's see. I think I might go with Rowlet this time around. I went with Cyndaquil in my first playthrough. My name is Stone. Lavaton. I think that's a- is that a name of a tree? I don't know. Lavaton? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh! <laughs> Cheese it! Yeah, I'll catch your frickin' Pokemon. Yeah, I like Rowlet quite a bit. I don't- I haven't had the chance to play him, like, through the main game series. Like, the one I'm most familiar with as far as starters goes is probably Cinequil or Oshawott, but... The... I like Rowlet. I like his design quite a bit. Give me that phone. Let's see. Got our Jesus phone, everyone. You know you're the chosen one when God texts you on the, uh... When God slides into your DMs, right? See, gotta relearn all these controls too. Mm, is it kind of laggy? Yeah, a little. Okay. You know, I'm listening to the music in this, and it sounds really similar to some of the older Nintendo games, like. Twilight Princess. Like, from Legend of Zelda. But maybe they just kind of run together. But yeah, my first playthrough, I got a Cyndaquil and I named it Dumpling. Let's see. And Oshawott. Oshawott's final evolution is like the neatest, in my opinion. Like out of all the variants for this region. Because all of the starter evolutions, their final stage looks different than compared to other games. Ooh, 50 Pokeballs. Hey Wallflower. Hey! Hey, Wallflower, how are ya? How's our sound and everything coming through? Is it good for you guys? This is my first time really using the capture card and catching the, uh... Gameplay from the Switch. I wanted to do something kind of different this evening. Okay, awesome. Fantastic. It's the first time we've streamed to my computer, too, and, um, Dick's doing a good job of checking everything for me. This is a wonderful, wonderful partner and producer. Uh. No game audio, though, huh? Hmm.
I mean, there's nothing really right now in the game but talking. Or not talk, I mean, that doesn't even come through the music. So let us know when it does come through. Alright. How do I crouch? There we go. I get this one right on the head. Ah! Hmm. Well, I suppose at least we're coming through. It's kind of a good thing that Pokemon really just uses sound effects then, huh? It is nice testing everything else, because this is the first time, uh... Like I said, using Streamlabs is on my computer, so the drawing that's in the little corner, that's new. The chat on screen, that's new. It is nice to see. I'll catch your runaways. Don't you worry about that, Mr. Laviton. I'm gonna sneak up and I'm gonna pop them. Whoops, not like that. All right, come here, you. Oh God. What? Ooh, please be safe over there. I just, your power has been flickering. I just saw that. Um, be safe over there. You guys have candles and things like that, right? Backup batteries. Let's see what else. Oh, there's Cyndaquil. Yeah, the first Cyndaquil that I got in the game I called Dumpling. I don't know what I'm gonna name. I think I wanna do Rowlet this game. But I'm not sure what I wanna name Rowlet. Damn, my aim is terrible. There we go. Yeah, fantastic. You know, I would like to see, for those of you that have played the Pokemon Arceus pretty much through, I'd like to see Pokemon Legends Rayquaza. Because Gen 3 is one of my favorites. And the Land of Hoenn seems like it'd be kind of ripe for that, you know? So it's been dry over here for about four hours now. It's about, about to start up again. Ooh, definitely stay dry. But yeah, I don't know. I, I would like to see the Hoenn region in this kind, kind of, of looking like looking this. Like this. <laughs> okay, let me see. Alright. Seek out all Pokemon. You mean you mean most, right? Alright. Okay, let's find Getting that Pokemon getting that there, Pokedex. Mm mm mm. And this game's supposed to be set in like the eighteen hundreds of Pokemon world. Maybe maybe earlier. Because it makes it seem like it's in the 1800s. So I'm just kind of breezing through the first part of the story. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of jump into it. I didn't really want to have to 
I didn't really want to just pick up where my old file left off, even though I do want to finish it. But I was kind of like, you know what, there's... The story in this game isn't too bad. You okay? Let's see. Let's see what the Jesus Mountain has to, uh deal with where what's it given us to deal with <laughs> you look like you're giving the guard the stink eye I love it like you just like Pah. It's a little lag on the screen. It doesn't. It's not too bad though. Like I said, I'm just happy to be utilizing Streamlabs on my computer. It's still a work in progress. And I do the walk of shame. Walk of shame, interloper. Everyone's mean mugging you. I get like being confused at why you're there, but mean mugging you just seems kind of cruel. Botheration. Hmm. But yeah, like I said, the um, just audio issues aside, too. I do apologize if the stream is a little bit choppy. Or this and that, we um, are experiencing a massive storm off the other uh, coast of the state. And it's... Oh, oh god, it's a, it's a bad storm. If you're on the Gulf Coast, you know, please stay safe. You know, it's supposed to... Um, Hurricane Ian is slamming into the Gulf Coast right now, it's, as it's which is wind speeds up to 155 miles per hour. You know, so if you're in the storm zone, just please stay safe, you know, and keep a level head about it. So if he has green hair, why is his mustache gray? It's my question. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the hurricane party stream. I mean, as much as a party as one person sitting in a room listening to music can be. So, but I, like I said, I apologize for the choppiness. That's out of my control. Drubbed me with a move called Thundershock. Huh. Yeah, I'll help you with your Pokédex. I don't have a choice. Hey, perf <laughs> hey, Jupiter. Pretty sure that's the um, the galaxy team member that you fight the descendant of for her. Like, I think it's because it's Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. I think, right? The three like main bosses from Team Galaxy. <laughs> you could not pay me to go back to being fifteen years old. Like, you could not pay me 
at like any amount. Very aloof. So potato mochi is just potatoes and, like, rice, correct? Because mochi is just gelatinous rice, like, made into a ball, I think. I don't know if it's gelatinous. I've never tried mochi, but I just, I've seen it made, and it looks delicious. So I'd like to try it at one point. So it just seems like a very starchy meal, potatoes and mochi. Let's see. The Sui region. That's not what it's called, though, in the main game, right? Like, it's not called the Hisui region. It's something else. Hmm. Let's see. Gotta worry about them Pokemon mauling me to death again. <laughs> yeah, potato mochi and rice just sounds very dry. Like, no shade if it tastes good, I'm just saying. It just seems like it'd be super starchy. You know what else I would like to see, like as far as a Pokemon game, kind of come to this 3D platform is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. One of the Mystery Dungeons, I don't really care which one. Um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue and Red, Rescue Team Blue and Red, those, I think those were the first ones that came out. It'd be very neat to see those redone, in my opinion. Get to sleep. Let's get to sleep. So we can pick our Rowlet. I'm gonna name him. I don't know what to name him. <laughs> Prickly Pete. <laughs> Diligent saving. I have such a love hate with relationship with auto saves in this game. Just on the sheer basis of they added the autosave system for um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and that's cool and all, but I didn't realize that the first few times I was trying to get a female starter Pokemon so I could breed it with a ditto to make eggs to give them to friends, you know, the friends that picked the other starters. 
and I didn't realize it had auto saved and I had gotten the you know I had gotten so much of the uh, beginning of the game just over with that I didn't have to you know go through and replay it every single time when I did the reload the save file So that was the annoying way I learned out, learned about the autosave feature. Get our starter. Hmm. But yeah, I would love to see Pokemon Legends Rayquaza. That would be one of my favorite things. Like to see kind of set in the past because I think that's a rich area. I feel like Johto would be an interesting area just because you have the three legendary dogs there. Really any of the earlier games that if you did like a Pokemon Legends, I think it would I think it would be like a ripe area. You know. I'm a little bit surprised they decided to do his sweet region just based on the fact that they redid Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. You know, it just it seems um redundant and like a little bit to me. So let's see. <laughs> the pack looks so funny without the rest of the outfit Plish Plash. Alright. We gotta do... We gotta pick our starter. Really give him a good look over. And a kick. Part of me kind of wants to pick Cynical just on the sheer basis of there's not a lot of fire type Pokemon in this game. Like, there's like zero. Plenty of water type in this game, though. But the fire types that you get off the um, cuff are Ponyta. I'm pretty sure that's the only one. So. Let's see. Um, hmm. I like Cyndaquil, but at the same time, the final evolution being a partial ghost type is no bueno. It, that is, it's, it's terrible. It's absolutely awful. So, come on. So any, Sorry, any, I was waiting to hear if, if I could hear the pop. <laughs> So, what do you think, Mr. Rickles? <sighs> well, um, do we want this adorable bastard, or do we? What want... do you have on the other file that you've already made? 
Um, Cinequil? I also have Rowlet and Oshawa, but at the same time, I they were, I started and ended the game with Cinequil. Oh, okay. Then I'd do Rowlet. Yeah. I'll just pick a different one, you know? And kick it over. So are we still having issues with the game sound coming through? Yeah. Uh, how do we sound, though? We sound fine. I wonder how you can get it for Maneater. I think you need to update Streamlabs on your computer. Ah, well. I don't think you have the most current version. Really, I downloaded it after you... Uh, after you, you had gotten yours. Oh, well. Yeah, but I still update mine. Ah, uh, okay. Well, they can they can hear who matters. All both of us. I don't want to do a too terribly long stream. I just kind of want to get this game going. We'll work out any bugs as time goes on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, the Pokemon, or not Pokemon Online, Nintendo Online has recently said they are going to put Pokemon Stadium? That's the one that was for... I think so, yeah. The, I believe Pokemon Stadium. They're going to be putting that on soon. I am very excited to stream that just on the sheer basis of it's Pokemon Battles. It's Why wouldn't I be excited? <laughs> Plus, it's nice to have, like, a two-player game that isn't racing or isn't, you know, conventional fighting games. Because I am not a good button masher. And let me out of here. So this guy I can give a giant, I'm going to give an alpha Whirlpool to whenever I get the chance to. I like making all of the Pokemon in the game um, alphas, like all the ones that have to help out in the field or that the guards want because it's, it's funny as hell. Alright, let's go test this Rowlet out. Let's see. How do I bring up... Oh. I gotta relearn all these controls. So what should we name our little Rowlet boy? Uh. Um. I don't know. Hmm. Rowdy Piper. <laughs> I always think of something like Ricky. Or oh, something. I like Ricky. I don't know why, but it seems kind of fitting. Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> these aren't kids. They're... Oh, wait. They're, these aren't kids. These are little people. Yeah. What's your name? Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> I think you could probably say it because it's... We're making fun of a family guy. I don't know. Twitch yeah. Twitch isn't a fan of in-context slurs. <sighs> Ricky with a Y or Ricky with an I? It's a boy? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Go, Ricky! <laughs> Hang on, let's can let's see what <laughs> Go on, Ricky! <laughs> Ricky is mild by nature. <laughs> Ricky's dead! He joined a gang and he's dead! Uh, oh no, Ricky got shot. Ricky got Ricky joined a gang and, and got, got shot! shot. <laughs> Hey, Ray, I'm going to kick your ass. Get the hell out of here, Cynthia. Or Volo? Volo's supposed to be a guy, right? Like... I don't know. Because I don't think they ever really say. You got me. But I'm pretty sure Volo's supposed to be a guy. But he's Cynthia's um, descendant. 
who is the Elite Four final boss. I don't know do you, if you know that or not. I do not. Okay. I, my god, I forgot how hard the Elite Four was in Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl. I forgot how freaking hard it was. So, I don't know, I take more pleasure in beating up this Togepi. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, what you gonna do about that, Togepi? Toga bitch? Come on, Ricky. Yeah. That's right. Oh, good job. And a new move. Yeah. What did you get? Do you know? No. It didn't say. What the fuck? It might be leafage. That's a good one. Yeah. You better heal my Pokemon. Ooh, nice. I don't know. I hope the mic can pick up her. Our cat is meowing ever so sweetly to us. Guard, I am leaving for the day. Your trial's outside the village? Well, good luck. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm gonna catch the biggest shanks that I can find. You know, I'm just noticing Ray's shoes looks like he has his feet firmly planted in two loaves of dough. Or bread, I guess. But the way that they look, they look more like bread. Ooh, a beat off. Let's see here. Is it real rainy out there? Hmm? Real rainy? Just windy. Let's see. Let's go catch them Bidoof. You're a tiny one. I'm gonna catch you. Ha!
Starly. Yeah, I want to see a revisit to the Hoenn region, I really do. I didn't get the chance to play the remakes of Ruby and Sapphire, but Ruby and Sapphire were the first games that I ever really, like, picked up to play. Like, that were my own. Like, I had friends that had, um, Pokemon Crystal, but it wasn't one that I owned until, like, much later on. But very fond memories of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Alright, let's go get us a Shinx. Alright, let's see. There, right, get past this tutorial lesson. Go on, Ricky. I can't believe we named him Ricky. <laughs> yeah. I always thought it was pretty cool that the Pokemon in this game had varying levels of aggression. That is interesting because it's something like Shinx will chase you, Bidoof's will run away. It's cool. Uh, yes, I know that. <laughs> There's a um, comic that I found a while back where it's your it's the one female character like punching an Ursa ring, and the caption above it is, uh, "Grandma didn't fight bears just so you could put stickers on your Pokeball." Yeah. Uh. All right, let's try to catch this. Oh god. Oh lord, it's coming for me. There we go. Yeah, leafage is a really good move, you're right. Oops. Oh god. All right, let's try let's try this again. There we go. Any luck with it? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, passing with flying psychedelic colors. So yeah, this has to be, what, 1800s, right? Maybe? Gotta, right? I don't know, it feels too new to be like, oh, this is the 1700s. Uh, maybe? <laughs> but I mean, it is all fantasy, so... Are there electric lights in the buildings? Yes, but, like, they look old-timey, so I think it's meant to... 
make you go like like there's a mix of paper lanterns and of you know lamps Silent. I appreciate that Pokemon keeps all of these people like lore friendly. Like these are descendants or ancestors, excuse me. Alright, got this awful little Shinx. Hey there, bud. Got a Starly. A very tiny Starly. You see how tiny this is? Huh? How tiny this little Starly is. Mm -hmm. everyone hmm. look at my pokemans Alright, there we go. Oh, they're sandals. I was saying earlier, doesn't their shoes look like they have just their feet implanted firmly in, like, loaves of bread? You see it? Like, look at their shoes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it looks like... We'll see what you mean, at least. <laughs> yeah, it looks like loaves of bread. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're comfy. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I love collecting all the outfits in every game I play. Yeah. It is a guilty, like, habit of mine. There we go. Oh, I don't have the little heads. Oh, I need sandals, too. Alright, let's see. Gotta put our bread loaves on. They look like bunnies. Yeah, they do look like bunnies. she has um like the leg warmers but ray doesn't i'm sorry i wonder why she has the leg warmers but ray doesn't are they part of the outfit they're part of the sandals but see like he doesn't have them he has something else but maybe it's just a stylistic choice between the girl and the boy maybe right, where do i gotta go upstairs Up, 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 up. That's Rowan's ancestor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah, this is. I have been waiting for you. Outlander. Huh. Outlander. I like Children of the Corn. It is Alan. Okay, because I said interloper earlier, and I'm like, that's, that's not... That's a different thing, isn't it? Interloper. Or is that just a word? It might just be the word. Or like, just a word? <laughs> As opposed to a reference? Yeah. Harumph. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to tackle him. Hey, 
ah. He kind of reminds me of Randy. Um, Stan's dad from South Park. Yeah, he does. Like his design? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Don't expect a warm welcome for- I can hear it in Randy's voice now that you've said that. Don't expect a warm welcome. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Damn, I want to watch South Park now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> when, the stream, when we're done with the stream, I'll figure this out a little bit more and we'll watch South Park. Yeah, most deaf. I just wanted to um, kind of drop in and do a little bit of a... Uh, not a hurricane party, that's not the right term, but a hurricane stream. Just... Yeah. While everyone has internet and just send my warm wishes, you know. But I hope everyone is staying safe out there. It's crazy with the wind and the rain. You're a no star. Ah. That's like a dark star, right? No. Ah. Uh. No stars is good, right? It's like on a scale of zero to five. Zero being the best. The best. Right? No, I don't think no star means S tier. I don't think. <laughs> Something tells me those things are different. <laughs> 3,000. That's like 30 bucks. You still got your weird poke yen in this time. Yeah. So the yen is like, if it's five. Poke yen? Yeah, because yen, if it's something's like yen, it's like five. If something's 500 yen, it's like. Roughly like five U.S. dollars, right? Yeah. Or like four eight, four dollars eighty cents. I was explaining this to Marky the other day, and I was saying, um, well, yeah, yen's just a penny. It's just how they say it. You know? Yeah. It's it's like really... if our base unit of measurement was pennies, we would just say five hundred pennies. Yeah. Five hundred shillings. So like thirty or three thousand pokey yen is supposed to be like thirty bucks. Yeah. Which may honestly, if you go back and you play the game, it's like, oh, you won 450 yen from the battle. If you think of it as like four dollars and fifty cents, it's like, oh, huh. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. I have not been paying. I've been just hitting the button through the conversation. Haven't been paying attention. Anthy, Anth, Anta. Well, it's a pretty basic story. It's time to get out of this uh, uniform and into some cool and clothes. Some cool clothes. <laughs> time to spend all that 3,000 pokey yen on fancy outfits. This is my only issue when starting a new game for stream. It's like the first stream is always like this whole like tutorial and everything. Yeah. Which I don't mind. It's just like I guess if I had all the time in the world. For That's me. why I'm excited to play Bioshock because Bioshock is like a like it's a cool tutorial at least. Yeah, you've been wanting to play Bioshock for like a hot minute. Oh yeah, well I mean, like I play Bioshock at least like all the way through like once or twice a year. Right. Because I treat it like a big movie basically. And you even finished Bioshock Infinite, I know. Yeah. I know, that was the one I did not finish. Mm -hmm. I just, I couldn't get into it as a series. But yeah, you do it, like, you play through all of them, like, mm -hmm. once. Like, around Christmas time, every year. Yeah, it's like a tradition thing for me, like. Which I love that you love the game. Like, it's so, oh, yeah. it makes me smile, because it was. It took so many people so many years trying to convince me to play it. And I don't, I, I don't even know why I only gave it a chance for you. It was just like. You already had it, and you were just like, oh, no, I'm going to play it, so you can watch if you want. And, that, and I just immediately fell in love with the story. Yes. Like, and aesthetically, Bio it's a really cool game, as is. And Bioshock was the very first game that I played on the newer systems, like the Generation 3 um, systems or consoles, because it was the first game that I ever played for the Xbox 360. It was a game my cousin had. My cousins introduced me to like a lot of good games like that, like Zelda Ocarina of Time and Sly Cooper, Skyrim, Bioshock. Mm -hmm. But Bioshock was the first one that I was like, I don't know, it was the first game I played 
that when it came out, it made me feel like an adult play- when yeah. I played it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I get that. Because I, yeah, like, I had to be, like, 14, mm-hmm. 13 years old. And I was just like, oh, this game, it's so dark and deep. And it's held up, you know? Oh, yeah. Totally held up. Like, I mean, as far as games that age go. Yeah, you want a giant Wurmple, I know. He doesn't want a giant Wurmple, he just wants a Wurmple. But he's getting a giant Wurmple. Yeah, I know what a frickin' Wurmple is. That's a basic Pokemon. Evolution! <laughs> Alright. Evolution simply does not exist merely because you believe in it. So saith the giant creature in the sky! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was, episode. That's a clockwork origin. From Futurama, from right? Futurama. Yeah. Uh, you come to the Twilight Game and Therapy, you get the memes. You don't want the memes? That's that's too damn bad. Yeah, that's a lot of memes that we use in this fucking show. Over 9,000? Ha! Huh. That's weird. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You're dick ridiculous. Which is kind of our own meme, really. I got one of them shanks. You want to see my shanks? I can show you my shanks. Yeah, shanks them. <laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> this looks like... <laughs> Let's see them ears. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I felt like I had a bone stuck in my... Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> Only the throat's my brain and the bone is a thought. Wow, this guy is... Thanks for getting that bone out. Something else. <laughs> it's too bad we can't... I might, if we can't get the game audio to work, I might put some, like, the next time we stream, I might just put some jazz to this. We'll figure it out. Well, I mean, you know, the smooth jazz to that scene of, like, let me see your shanks to get this bone out of my throat. Feels I like just it'd don't be understand fitting. what's wrong. Is my problem. Eh. We wouldn't be growing if we didn't run into issues, right? I guess. Something. Let's see. I think I might get the Wurmple and then wrap the stream up. Yeah, sure. Because we are getting some rain coming our way. Yeah. Well, right now it's just wind. But, I mean, it's supposed to rain in the middle of the night. Which, oh. Luckily, we live in a place with some really good drainage systems to it, so. Mm. Like, one of the roads uh, I was driving down today was almost completely flooded. And uh, I went back there, like, a a few hours later, and it was actually pretty clear. Yeah, so it's definitely... The rain's just coming down so hard and fast right now that there's not really any time for things to... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I have to learn how to dodge criminy. I was like, why can't I jump out the way? But yeah, the uh, the weather has been kind of spotty. I'm hoping that the storm on the Gulf Coast, it gets over with quickly. Because it seems like the hurricane is just hanging out there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Do you remember this jump in um, Sly Cooper? Yes, that was like my the the jump I used all the time. Me too. I basically used it to like get around. If I can get the PlayStation Three um, up and running again, I would definitely like to do the Sly Cooper series. Oh yeah. I would. Uh, that Sly Cooper series. If you said pick a pick your favorite series from childhood, it would be Sly Cooper. Easy. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. You know, I feel like Sly Cooper is the reason more people are furries than they realize. Because everyone just blames Disney, right? No. Nah, if Cooper. you had to go for a game, though, uh, like the games that made furries, let me think. Sly Cooper, Okami, Spyro. Way before, nah, but so, see, I don't, I don't think Sly 
I mean, maybe for that generation, but like, I'm I'm talking like, I don't know. <laughs> Fight him. Banjo and Kazooie. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely Banjo and Kazooie. Conkers, Conkers, Bad Fur Day. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. I've never played Conkers. Crash. Pokemon. Pokemon? I feel like you yeah. play as a human. Yeah. Oh, actually, hmm. yeah, you're right. Sly, at least, is anthropomorphic. Ratchet. Well, I'm. Like, I get I'm saying that. from like for aughts kids. Zootopia. Yes. Oh, this shink sucks. All right. It's a sh shit shunk. skink. Shinks. It's a shunks. Shunks. <laughs> I might name it shunks now. That's a good one. This beat off on beat off uh, aggression. Mm. Whoa! They're so dead inside, they don't even respond. Yeah, they don't even notice you. <laughs> Which good? Fuck me, doof. Like, it kind of pisses me off that Pokemon is like, yeah, we know we throw them in too much. Isn't that adorable? Uh. Or should we throw them in more? Wouldn't you guys love it? And I'm like, no. Christ. Do you know how much I want an Eevee? And it's a Bidoof. That's all this level is, is, oh, look, it's an Eevee. Nope. Bidoof. Bidoof's the Chuck Testa of this game. <laughs> What's that over there? Is that something that I really want? Nope. Bidoof. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go get us a Ponytaz. Beat this guy up real quick. Get him. Catch it. Oh, yeah. I'll just get it. I want to give the ju the guy that wants the um, Wurmple in town, I want to give him a giant Wurmple. Huh. Because, like I said, I like giving the townspeople, like, giant Pokemon. I was surprised when you said that wasn't what he wanted. I thought he did want a giant Wurmple. Or a big one. Well, doesn't matter if, if he doesn't want one, he's getting one. I'm looking for Eevee. You know, I've caught the Rapidash that's over here. Oh, there's one! I've caught the Rapidash that's over, like... What's that next to it? Oh. It's Bidoof. Come here, you little bastard. Damn it! Don't, don't run. Don't run, Evie. Oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna make it a Jolteon. <laughs> Let's see. Take it out and look at it. I'm gonna name it Glitch. I like Glitch. Mostly because it's making the ground glitch out there. It's not an impressive name, but it's it's this one's name. And I guess it kind of works for Jolteon, huh? Huh? Glitch kind of works for Jolteon as a name. Sylveon isn't in this game, though, right? No, I, I don't think so. Come on, Glitch. That's the... Wait, no, that's the um, the pink and white one? Yeah. Uh, I think it is, actually. I can't remember... For the life of me, I can't remember now. Well, that's how I change it back. Get this fire horse... I don't want your freaking Bidoof. I wonder why I 
it didn't acknowledge it. There we go. Pajal. Gotcha. <laughs> right, let's see, there's the, the Rapidash over here. So let's see. I know one of the next games that I want to get is, um, like, I actually really need to play through is Pokemon Infinite. Where it's like, or Pokemon Infinite Fusion or something like that. It's something that, can't think of the name exactly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Oh, okay, well, it didn't see us. Oh, Lord. You see it? Do you see it yep. just waiting there? I thought that was a ponyta, so I commenced not to freak out. And then I realized it's just a Rapidash that's very far away. It's a, rap it's a giant Rapidash. Not just a Rapidash. <laughs> it's a huge Rapidash. Pioneers used to ride these things for miles. Oh, Jesus. Run away. Oh, Lord. It's baby. It sees me. <laughs> it's coming right for us. Come here, you fat. Fatty. Smell that berry? Yeah, you, did you smell it? Come on. Like... It's gonna eat this thing, right? Or am I... Oh, here it comes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Alright, it sees us. What on earth is it doing? Popping in the butt. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, eh? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, hasn't seen us. We're just gonna run quickly away. That was stressful and unsuccessful. All right. Freaking bee doof, man. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want it to be an Eevee. It's a freaking bee doof. Nope. Chuck Testa. I am changing. <laughs> I am changing the freaking bee doof's name right now. Come here. Your name is Chuck. I don't care if you're a girl. Your name is Chuck. That wind is picking up out there. There we go. You see? You see Mr. Rickles? Mm. You see the name? We have Ricky, yeah. Chuck, Testa, and Glitch. We need some more names for these three. We'll uh, come up with them on the next stream. So we got, yeah, Glitch, Chuck, Testa, Ricky... I think that's a good that's a good mixture, huh? Hmm? I feel like that's a good mixture. Yeah. I wish you got the mounts a little bit earlier in this game. Like, cause I know that they're supposed to be like I know the wear deer that you ride is supposed to be like your bicycle. All right, let's see here. Professor, I caught some. Look at my oh, look at all my beedoof, Mr. Professor. Wait. 
Okay, so alright. I can't show him my progress just yet, but I can... Okay, there we go. Okay. So, let's see. Give our Pokemon a little bit of a rest up. And let's go ahead and save up our game. We'll have to change the hair color and everything for our little character at some point later on. But otherwise... I'm going to end this wonderful broadcast, um, this broadcast with wonderful company, and basically let you all go on to stay safe. Um, if you want to check out the Dinky Nasu YouTube channel, the link for the channel is in the about section on Twitch. Um, it's YouTube, uh, username Dinky Nasu. If you want to check out Dick Rickles, you can on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, both are the username Dick Rickles. Uh, if you feel so inclined, you can join the Dinky Nasu Discord, uh, the Shout Hall. The link for that is under the About section as well, as is the link for my Twitter. If you want to follow that, there's going to be posts and updates about the next streams coming on. But... Other than that, um, with this Hurricane Ian barreling towards the Gulf Coast of Florida, please stay safe out there. Um, use your head. And, you know, we'll get through the storm together. But right now, just stay safe. I uh, love you guys. Just, yeah, I'll see you on the other side of it. But in the meanwhile, um, the rest of y'all... You know, have a fantastic day. Peace out, y'all.